I got, I got 14 it. 14-3. That, that was a Brady that's game right. out of, Of course, out of, it was. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is this. From that point forward, you had North Turner. Yep. Now, North Turner did have a successful couple of years. One year he was 11-5, another year he was 13-3. and three. Mm -hmm. But they didn't win playoff games then either. Somewhere along the way, from an organizational perspective, from a structural perspective, something is missing with the San Diego Chargers. And that has affected and contaminated Phillip Rivers. Because when I look at Phillip Rivers, who's in his 12th year, and I see him throwing for over 3,000 yards, and I see a QBR in the 60s, and I see a quarterback rating of 100, and I see him completing about 68, 69% of his passes, I'm like, excuse me, th th those are the kind of things you want from your quarterback. So regardless of what struggles, and I, I, I love the analogy that you use about him being a bad luck kind of guy, because in a roundabout way, what you're saying is, it ain't him. He's a part of it, but he ain't the reason. Mm. And so that's the sad part about it. He's wasting away in San Diego. And I know he's got, I mean, his, him and his wonderful wife just had, what, their eighth mm. child, I believe? Eight. Okay, eight, okay? Eight is enough, I guess. Maybe it's that's <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. know. That's the name of a television yeah. show from a long time ago for you don't, who don't remember. Well, that was way it, before my time. Yeah, you stop it. <laughs> so here's the deal. I'm looking at it from that perspective, and I understand him wanting to be in San Diego. The weather's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's nice. You're very comfortable out there. They treat you like royalty. You're Phillip Rivers. But if you want to win, he might be back. I know he's got no trade clause in his contract. New four-year deal, I believe, for the season. Yeah. I know all of that. But he might be better off going to... Let me tell you something right now. Could you imagine what Phillip Rivers would do with the Jets? Could you imagine what he would do with a few other teams? Could you imagine what he'd do in St. Louis? Mm. I mean, could you imagine that? I mean, I mean, if you give the man some weapons and you give him a defense that he can rely upon... Mm -hmm. Okay, and a coach, because listen, let's face reality. We may disagree with Jeff Fisher from time to time, but the man can't coach. Sure. I mean, it's not like he can't coach, okay? Mm -hmm. He knows a thing or two about what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, listen, we can't knock him because he's making decisions bigger than football. Mm -hmm. It's about his family. But strictly from a football perspective, I think San Diego has proven they're not worthy of him. Mm. They're not worthy of him. Well... To your point, bottom line, Eli versus Rivers. Eli. E Eli has thrown 62 more career interceptions mm -hmm. than Phillip Rivers. Wow. And one more. And, and still one more. I know. It's unbelievable that trade even happened back in the day. <laughs> Moving on, Kevin Durant returns home tonight to play the Wizards. How should the fans greet the soon-to-be free agent? That's the discussion on the other side.